Hey, 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 hello. Everybody, my name is Snake DST. That was really gay. And welcome back to another build video. Um, this is my PvP and or PvE, but overall PvP DPS build. Not really DPS, I don't know why I said that, but it's definitely my build I use during PvP and until I find something else that I want to try out, this is it. This is called my Alpha Pred set. And if you guys uh, have seen my recent video involving a few uh, salty trash talkers, this was the build that I used in that video, as well as the stream. So if you guys need any reference at all at what the build can do, and see it in real time, or at least you know time that I did use it before, feel free to go watch the video, and please feel free to go watch the um, uh, the stream. It's near the end, uh, in, in the dark zone. So, like, go, like, skip to, like, the last maybe half hour to an hour. Uh, you'll be seeing me in the dark zone with my build on. Now, let's go over it. Here's the build. Overall, it works for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. As you can see, there's my DPS, there's my toughness, and there's my skill power. Now, frankly, I don't want this much toughness. I don't know why I have this much toughness. The pieces that I have already have that toughness on it, so I can't really help that. I was kind of trying to go for maybe like one piece with, with stamina, one piece with electronics, and the rest are firearms, but I am unfortunately unable to do that with these pieces. With these pieces, at least. Unless I find another one, then I will definitely uh, switch that around, see how that works out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but he, uh, anyway, here's the build. Uh, so here's my weapons. I'm using alpha. So what, what the ninja bike does, let me go over the ninja bike. It it basically gives you one extra piece of gear set item uh, for whatever you're wearing. So if I'm wearing one piece of say alpha, I get the two piece bonus, and so and so forth for every single gear piece except for classified gear pieces. You guys can see right there. You can read it. So I have the ninja bike, and here's what my ninja bike is: 1242 stamina, which I probably would have put electronics on it, and then health, and then bleed resistance. Uh, the the mods on it are uh, firearms mod with skill power. And then two uh, first aid self heal mods, 6% being the max. Uh, the reason I have skill power is because I want to get a good heal out of it. And honestly, because I don't have any skill power anywhere else, I'm using the skill power on my mods. Uh, go over to uh, Predator. There's only two pieces. So I'm using a Predator Mark chest piece run for firearms. as health, health on kill, and ammo capacity. Uh, the two-piece bonus is a reload speed, and the three-piece is 8% assault rifle and or SMD damage, whatever you prefer. I'm using assault rifles. Um, and then the mods are two electronics mods, one roll for health, one for skill power, obviously because I want to get some skill power in this build as much as possible to get a good heal. If I were able to switch out any of the pieces for electronics, uh, being the, the, the backpack or most likely the knee pads, if I can get a new alpha knee pads, I could switch them out for electronics, and then I can run a booster shot which in this build I'm not running a booster shot. Over to the hands, the gloves, which are actually taken from my Predator build, so I'll have to find new Pred gloves for either that build or this build. But um, 1228 firearms, critical chance, assault rate damage, crit, crit damage, 967 armor. Obviously, that's about it for the gloves. Down to the holster, because why not? We're already there. It has 1231, 1264, 1244. 912 armor with health already on it, or rolled, I rolled a health onto it, and the mod is uh, first aid self heal, as you can see there. Uh, the knee pads, which I probably wish I could, I wish I could change them to skill power, but cannot. But they have good, I rolled good health on them. Disrupt, blind, and damage to elites. 1224 stamina with good, really good armor roll. And to the mask, oh my fault. And uh, you can already guess it's um. Well, let's go over, if people don't know what alpha is, because you're new or you don't understand, this is what alpha does. 2% gives you health regen. Five per, uh, the 3 piece, not 2%, 2 piece, 3 piece gives you 5% weapon damage. So if you add that onto the assault rifle damage I'm already doing, it's a little bit extra damage. And if your primary and secondary weapons are the same category, being AR, SMG, sniper, or, uh, yeah, long, marksman rifles, etc., they share the free talent. All talent requirements are ignored for the weapon talents. So I could run whatever I want, whatever four four talents I want, and they're already unlocked. And that's, you have four talents basically instead of three. 
on that weapon. Uh, firearms, skill power, and first aid self field mod. And then to the mask, 987 armor. Skill power rolled onto it to get some more skill power. 1207 firearms, which I wish I could get a little higher, but, you know, it's not min max, but this build actually is working out pretty well for me. It hits decently hard, and I like it a lot. Uh, disorient resistance. And then to the weapons. Now, the first weapon I'm going to use, it's showing up as a lightweight, but it's actually the Loa. That's my main weapon, which I have to get used to again because I have been using a lightweight for so long. I'm so used to the lightweight. But anyway, here's the weapon. 22.3 uh, damage, 23% EAD with unforgiving, deadly, and competent. And then my lightweight, you can probably see it right there. Uh, let me go down, though, to the uh, what everything else is. There's my mag. There's my optics. My muzzle. And there's my under barrel. And then the lightweight, if I want to switch to the lightweight, which apparently, the, I get, for some reason, my lightweight does more damage, but I guess I'll show you guys when I shoot the target. Um, it has destructive, brutal, and responsive on it, and then obviously competent if I use lightweight. Um, I prefer the other one better because the talents, I feel like, are just a bit uh, overall better. At least for, I wish, like on this build, I would, i probably replace brutal for unforgiving or destructive for unforgiving. But um, yeah, competent's also really good. It does have a responsive on it, but it has the same damage, has the same EAD, uh, the mags and such might be a little bit different, like there's a large optics, a magazine, the loud vent break instead, and a small grip as well, with my skin. The pistol I'm using, cause why not? M1911, harmful toxic, nothing special, just an arm, you know, harmful pistol, does some damage. Um, let me go over to the character real quick, so here's my firearms. Stamina, electronics, my weapon damage, credit chance, credit damage, head dot damage, my range, reload time, reload speed bonus, all weapon damage bonus, sorry for damage bonus, I'll sorry for percent damage bonus, as you can see there, and then go down to my SMG damage bonus, which if I ever want to switch to an SMG, there's that. Damage to elites, health on kill, uh, threat skill power, don't have any of that sadly, toughness, max health, my armor, my health regen, etc, etc, bleed resistance, blind death resistance, destroy resistance, destruct resistance, etc. Uh, I'll go to the abilities, I run um, Overdose gives you that overheal. Unfortunately, like I said before, if I had more skill power, I would definitely probably run booster, just because of the uh, damage increase and deep resistance. But I'm unfortunate. And then obviously for the second one, this one depends on all what you guys want to do. I apologize for yawning. You could use this, you can use that, you can use whatever you want. But I use this for the extra heal. You toss that thing down and uh, immunes you from anything that if you're getting hit by something, you're about to get hit by something immune and or also if you pop it you know you get some extra health a little bit extra healing not too bad right my talents for this build are as followed critical save use a med kit during low health to increase your damage resistance by 20 percent for 10 seconds which also might as well if i remind you guys combine this with refresh mask beautiful strike back re reach low health reduce uh, reduce active skill cooldown by 20 percent uh headshot a hostile hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds easy Get a headshot, you get some pulse damage, and then kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 50% by for 10 seconds. Now, some obviously you guys can pick whatever you want. You can get rid of on the move and put on combat medic for your friend. You can put on this, you can put on that, you can put on... I don't care what you want to do. This is what I run. I probably switch around on the move for uh, combat medic sometimes, just because, you know, on the move you don't always get a person killing them while you're moving. So, it's it, it varies. Um, that's about it for the build. So let me show you what the damage is. So here is my um, here's my Lavoa. Looks like 20, about 24 to the body, 44 crit, right? And then into the head. It's about 48 to 75 crit, 48 max damage to the head. And then for some reason, I switched to the allow my L8 weight is a little bit more, but whatever, right? So you got 24, and then the crit is 47, and then the head. Looks like it's about 48 to, what is that, come on, crit again, 78 to the head. And then why not pistol, right? Ha 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 ha, no, I'm kidding. Alright, so, 
that's really about it for this build. I really actually uh, quite enjoyed this build quite a bit. Um, obviously, I'm going to make more with the ninja bike. The ninja bike, there's so much uh, so much to do, so much to see. Why can't you just take the back street? What did I just say? What? Question? Hello? Anyway. So, I'm not sure at the end of this video I'm going to have any uh, footage to show you what it does. Because, like I said, if you really just want to see what it really does, just go watch the stream. Go watch the uh, the video that popped out. If I do put some footage in the back of this, I will... Well, I can't really tell you. It's going to be there. You'll see it. But if not, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys try out this build. Tell me what you think. This has been Snake DST signing off. Bounce only by frozen memories